Greetings, you filthy heretics. My name is Kamikaze, and I have a question for you. Do you like shooting heretics? Do you like stabbing heretics? Do you like burning heretics, mayhaps? And by the light of the Golden Throne, do you absolutely despise heretics? Well then, you've come to the right place. Bathe in the Emperor's glory and play the Zealot today. The Imperium of Man, beacon of hope, and the last light of humanity in the far future is an insane religious cult. It's not great. Believing fervently in their god emperor, who is a real person, kind of stuck in life support and ironically hated religion. But, you know, sucks to be him, I guess. The Imperium pushes their faith violently throughout the galaxy. If you do not believe in the Emperor, you will be shot. If you say a bad word about the Emperor, you will be shot. If you even dare suggest another god might exist, you will not be shot. You will be flayed alive and then burned at the stake for such blasphemy. And while everybody in the Imperium believes, there are those who take it further. Those whose love and devotion to the Emperor are so strong, their willpower can actually manifest itself in miracles, helping them survive things they have no right to, defeat enemies more powerful than themselves, or honestly, all kinds of neat stuff. These people of extreme faith exist all over the place, um, with large groups of them in the Sisters of Battle, the Black Templars, uh, <clears throat> little kind of church militias that they're not technically supposed to have, but some of them do anyway. The in-game zealot is uh, not from a specific group or army. Uh, you're just a complete psycho who is so fanatically devoted that it somehow grants you great combat ability and immunity from the plagues of Nurgle, which, I mean, if you know the lore, it's, it's insane. But hey, that's... Believe. Tread the path of righteousness. Though it be paved with broken glass, I will walk it barefoot. Though it cross rivers of fire, I will pass over them. Though it wanders wide, the light of the Emperor guides my step. In game, the Zealot is the well, either the melee damage specialist or a pretty supporty support, depending on how you build, but we'll, we'll get to that. Your primary goal, however, is simple. Rip and tear until it is done. Run in, kill everything, and try your best to die a glorious death as a martyr. Now unfortunately, you do have a bunch of perks and abilities to keep you alive in, in combat, which makes murderdom significantly more difficult. But if I've learned anything from playing this game solo, it's that your random zealot players will always find a way. Praise be. Ah, uh, seriously though. Your main job is mostly to clear hordes. Uh, you've got all these great big sweeping melee weapons, flamethrowers, and the ability to CC crowds through sheer faith alone. Honestly, there's not even a lot to say here. So it's a pretty, you know, brain off, hack and slash. Uh, it's not to say they aren't incredibly fun and effective. They are. Uh, it just makes it hard to write a good paragraph about it in, you know, say a YouTube video. So, I won't waste any more time. I present to you three Zealot builds, each focusing on a different aspect of the Zealot and their holy, righteous quest to cleanse the galaxy. The Faith build is what I have deemed the support build for the Zealot. It focuses primarily on buffs and auras, for your team, as well as this absolutely insane ultimate that functionally makes your whole team invincible for like 7 seconds. Uh, there's still a bit of damage thrown in, and with the, the zealot weapons you're still going to do plenty of damage, so don't worry about that. This is probably the best zealot build overall. Uh, it's incredibly powerful, 
because of all the, the buffs and auras, and the Zealot's kind of OP, so you do so much damage even without specking into it. Um, it's just really good. And also, I don't think you'll ever hear a bad word from a teammate if you run this build. Like, even if you suck, uh, literally just existing is so beneficial to all of your teammates. It's, it's great. Uh, it's also just really fun. Uh, if you're a dork like me, you'll probably end up role-playing in Discord, yelling about the Emperor and annoying all of your friends. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. As for your weapons, uh, they're pretty flexible with this build. Uh, most of the kind of, you know, standard good ranged weapons are good on the Zealot. I'll put them on the screen here. Uh, although, honestly, you probably aren't going to be using them very much. Uh, your melee weapon is uh, where we get to have some fun. Again, most of the good options are especially good on the Zealot, Combat Axes, Thunder Hammer, but special recommendation for the Eviscerator. Uh, it is it is one of the best weapons, but even if it wasn't, it's a gigantic two-handed chainsword, so it would still get a huge recommendation from me. But it does also happen to just actually be really good, so win-win. Heretics crave the cleansing fire of absolution. They need not fear, for we shall deliver it to them. Canonus Jasmine of the Sisters of Battle. So that's a Sister of Battle quote, which you're not technically a part of, but by god is it appropriate here. The fire build is exactly what it sounds like. You forsake the supportiveness and some of your damage in exchange for building around the Holy Flamer. Hordes of cultists and poxwalkers alike will melt in the path of your ceaseless flames. Well, it's <clears throat> actually not that great. Probably the worst of the three builds here, at least. It's incredibly fun. You set everything on fire, switch to your melee weapon, charge in, and then hack everything to pieces while they burn. Is that a war crime? Absolutely. But, hey, they earned it when they forsook the blessings of the Emperor. Primary weapon here is obviously the Flamer. And for your melee weapon, uh, big shout out to the Thunder Hammer. Uh, it synergizes really well with the Flamer uh, because the Thunder Hammer is a big single target damage bonk. Uh, the Flamer is really great at clearing hordes. Although, feel free to substitute basically whatever you want. Finally, we have the Fury build. Unleash the pure, unending rage and hatred of the Emperor on your enemies in brutal melee combat. This build is all about maximizing your melee damage, while mixing in just enough survivability to allow you to wreak havoc on the heretics. This one's pretty straightforward. You just kill stuff. A lot of stuff. Ranged weapon? I don't care, because... Who needs weapons when you have Chainsword? Big Chainsword. This is the perfect weapon for this build, both in terms of effectiveness and being thematically appropriate. While you can theoretically substitute other melee weapons, be warned that your Zealotous Fury will suffer while using inferior weaponry. As for your Curios, they're pretty easy. Health and toughness. Uh, you can run an extra wound if you find yourself going down a lot. Uh, or if you just don't have good health ones. Uh, secondaries, health, toughness, stamina, and damage reduction. Probably snipers. They, they, they can mess you up. I also highly recommend putting on the Doom Eternal soundtrack on repeat while playing the Zealot for the true rip and tear experience. Look, I love the Zealot. They're so much fun. Uh, I think the Veteran is probably overall my favorite class, but sometimes I don't want to think about things like positioning. I just want to whip out a giant chainsword and go ham. And the Zealot is perfect for that. I was actually planning on uploading the Veteran video first, uh, but then Fat Shark decided to go ahead and completely rework the whole Veteran skill tree while I was halfway through editing. Haha. <laughs> so, Zealot. Veteran Guide will be up in the next week or two, depending on how much time I have to play and test out builds uh, between now and then. 
Uh, but if it's, if veteran video is not out by next week, then the Psyker one will be. You'll, you'll have some, don't worry. Something good. So, if you learned anything, or if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. And remember the classic Imperial Hymn. Love the Emperor, for he is the salvation of mankind.